Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is June 21st, and we are going to take a look at Tesla, Panentier, NVIDIA, and see what is happening today. These stocks have dropped down today. We are going to see if it breaks their bullish patterns or not. If it does not break the bullish pattern, everything's fine. If it breaks it, then we need to get out. We are going to look at them from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions, but I'm not a financial advisor. So please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla is down $14.99. That's 5.46% closed at 259.46. Most markets, we seem to be down by an additional $2. So let's look at this on the chart. So this is the bullish channel that we were in, that we have been in for a while. Have we broken outside of this bullish channel? And the answer is no. We are just right smack on the support of that bullish channel. So right now, yes, it's sad that Tesla lost 5%, but we cannot say that the bullish channel is broken. So we are still in this bull trend right here. If we come out of the bullish channel, then we know that the stock is not going as high as fast as it has been, you know, since mid-May approximately. But we are very close to getting outside of this channel. We could be bouncing back up tomorrow and stay in this channel. So what we try to do with technical analysis is find our milestones, our thresholds. And if it crosses a threshold, then we make an action. And if it does not make a threshold, then we don't have to do that action. So, okay, we had broken 265.32 yesterday. And as it sometimes happened, and we've said it in the past, having a break of a resistance for one candle maybe is not enough. Maybe it can get reversed. So this is what happened today. And we had also broken above this resistance, this uh, channel resistance, and now we are just back in. This is not the best thing in the world, but, uh, you know, these things happen. So basically what uh, happened today is that Jerome Powell was interviewed and he basically reiterated that he might have to do two more interest rate hikes. This is something that he had said the last week at the end of the FOMC meeting, but now he said it again and I did not watch it this time, but maybe he said it in a different way and people got a worse impression. So basically, this is what uh, has been happening. So the stock market is very influenced by emotions. So this is just a nice example. Let's take a look at the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, uh, we see on the one hour chart, we see with a little bit uh, better resolution and we see that we have come outside of the bullish channel and we have lost stochastic over 60. And in terms of the indicators, we had a MACD breakover bearish. Uh, we have RSI below for uh, 50 and we have DMI that turned red. From a one hour chart perspective, we are entering into the congestion zone mode. This is the congestion zone mode. And from a one hour perspective, I would consider a break of 255.33 as an exit. I mean, I would not trust the stock uh, lower than 255.33. And uh, I find it very interesting that we just, you know, that we kind of respected in the end this resistance. We had a small break yesterday, but today we are coming back down. So this is telling me that this bullish channel resistance is really important that the stock reverted uh, from it. We should not panic because where was the buy signal? The buy signal was here at 180 something. The buy signal was at 180 something and the stock is at 257. With technical analysis, it's really hard to catch the ultimate top because you can say, well, yesterday was the ultimate high. It was not going to go higher, but nobody knew that it was going to come down today. It could have just continued up and up and up. Personally, I always wait for a reversal before selling. I never sell when we reach a resistance. I don't like to do that. Some people like to do that. I don't like to do that because we can just be going higher. And I have a nice example here with Tesla. 
So, you know, we had this bullish channel right here and we were touching this resistance very often. And yes, you could have sold here and bought here at the bottom, sold here, bought, sold here. But then at some point, look at what happened. The stock broke that resistance and it went super high and super fast. So this can always happen. This can always happen. And this is why I prefer to have a little bit of a reversal before getting up. And that reversal can be on the one hour chart. But if my reversal is on the one hour chart, like right now, I am taking another risk. I don't take the risk of having the stock go down and down and down on me, but I take the risk that the stock is going to jump back higher tomorrow and I will have to buy back at a higher price. So it's all about risk and it's all about the amount of risk that you are taking and it's all about which risk you are choosing to take. So let's come back on the daily chart. So on the daily chart, uh, our stochastic is still at 82. MACD is still great. RSI is less overbought, but it's still overbought. And the MI just caved in a little bit. Let's take a look at some Tesla news. So Elon Musk hints at Tesla entering India next year. So I think this means that he is going to build a Giga factory right there. So this is great for the Indian market. And this is also great. There is yet another gigafactory that is being planned out. Tesla has the top four most American-made cars, only American automaker in the top 10. Well, this is pretty impressive. The publication released its 2023 AMI today, and Tesla dominated with the top four vehicles, all being from the Texas-based automaker. So Tesla Y3 XS, and then we have the Passport, and then we have the Passport, ID4, Odyssey, Acura MDX, Ridgeline, and RDX. This is another success for Tesla. Also, Texas is going to require Tesla's NACS connector on charging stations in the state. That's, that's very nice. Okay, let's take a look at Palantir. So Palantir also, so Palantir is a little bit different. So Palantir is out of its bullish channel. So the bullish channel is not over. We are not bullish with Palantir, now we could be going sideways. We could be going sideways and look at how perfect this is. We went down and basically bounced on 1441. So for Palantir myself, I would use 1441 as a support. And we just lost Stochastic over 60. If we drop below 1441, Palantir is gone for now. It's gone for now. If we bounce on it tomorrow, everything's fine because we could be bouncing like this and then it could continue at some other point. If it drops, we are going to have to wait for a stabilization and other congestion zone at some point to have another entry into it. But that's fine because the entry point was right here. So we get in here and we get out here. And that's a very probability move because we had all of the criteria when we identified this here. We had just gone outside of a downward channel. We had gone over a horizontal resistance and we had stochastic over 60. And when you have these three criteria, I would say 75% of the time, it just goes. And if it does not go, when you enter, you need to have a very tight stop loss in case it changes its mind a little bit and then tries again a little bit uh, later. NVIDIA, look at this. NVIDIA has not been phased much. It is still in its bullish channel. Bullish channel is still valid. Look at how perfectly we went and touched the support at 419.83. We have a long wick at the bottom and we have almost no wick at the top. So uh, this is showing some buying pressure. So it came down, but the stock was pushed back up and we are in the bullish channel. We have stochastic over 60, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is all good. VIX, VIX is coming down further. This is quite impressive. We are down 0.68, clo close at 13.19. We are getting lower and lower. We just broke 13.48. So this is dropping like crazy. QQQ is still dropping down a little bit. It is forming a support here at 357.63. So when we break this, if we break this, then you know it should be coming back 
to the support right here and test it. In terms of Dow Jones, it's coming down a little bit also, but uh, this is not down much, uh, just 0.3%. That's not a lot. Tesla is down 5% and Palantir 7%. The tech stocks have suffered a bigger drop. S&P 500 uh, dropping to one of its support. Nothing to see here. NASDAQ Composite, the same thing. This is a 1.2% drop, whereas NASDAQ technology sector is a 2% drop. So we can understand a little bit. The tech stocks were hit a little bit more. And, you know, gold is gone. Gold is gone and it continues to be gone. You know, this is a shorting opportunity right there. Silver, <laughs> silver, the same thing. Silver is atrocious. Atrocious. Right now, I would not short it at this point because it just went too far too fast. I would wait for a little bit of a bounce and then I would short it if I wanted to. If you short it right here, it can still work, but it's a bit more risky. Just depends on what you want to do. Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin is up 5%. So yeah, Bitcoin is liking that a lot. Ripple, as I said, the Ripple uh, stochastic is not over 60. So I don't believe this move up yet. So this is a fake until, until proven otherwise. USDX tried to go a little bit higher. It was not to be trusted because stochastic was not over 60. So, so it did what it was supposed to do, which is coming back down further. And NBM took a beating, so it's down 23%, and it's now at 35 cents. Look at the volume on this one here, 777K. That's a lot. So people just dumped it. With these stocks, you know, with these penny stocks, you need to be very careful and have a very tight stop loss. If not, you can lose a little bit, and we just uh, lost all stick over 60 at the same time. So this one will need to restabilize, but it is going to give us a cheaper entry at some point. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.